Okay, so this is our scale. Everything starts from here. Well, we have this 14-foot tall creature, and we have to figure out how we're going to fit four people, an entire rig, and all those mechanics that are inside of it. So what we do is we will take the rough uh, frame that we did, put three people on that, and then take pictures and any type of video reference, scale references that we need, and then we will superimpose it on the artwork so that we can get a better idea of what we're working with, what specific volumes that we need to like abide by. So right about there. We'll use uh, Pete's feet as our baseline. Yep. Go like that. Other than like what CG artists have to deal with, we work in the real world. Everything has volume, everything has space. And in order to be able to figure all that stuff out, we have to start somewhere. 38.11, and we want that 113. Okay, so. Stay in school, kids. So you need it to make monsters. And the magic number is? 13.329. There you go. What did we say? 13 and a half. That's to the top of the alien. And then we can kind of scale it in and go, OK, that's how big that arm's going to be. It's nine feet long. Wow. It's almost like the, the thing that was playing in my mind actually is, we're gonna need a bigger boat. I'm just looking at this thing, it's like, wow, this is an achievement. I think this is the largest puppeteered creature that we've ever made. Comic-Con fans are gonna go nuts. Wanna see more? Go to Wired.com for the entire Giant Creature series.